This segment of DoD TV's Natural Barn is brought to you by Analogics. Protect your herd with the power of science. This week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. That was bullet. That stumper, that's the deal we've been messing with all fall. We've been to Wyoming a couple times whitetail hunting, but never mule deer or antelope. Table Mountain Outfitters, day one, baby. Yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. Winchester and Drury Outdoors present Natural Born. It's in your blood. It's in your DNA. Well, here it is, 9-11, and this is an anniversary for a tragic, tragic American loss. You know, it's very unfortunate that that had to happen and so many people lost their lives. You know, I guess that's why we're able to do what we do, you know, we're getting ready to go hunting and that's why we get to go hunting is because of the freedom that we do have. So we're getting ready to go back up here to the farm this afternoon and uh, hunt a spot that we hunted the very first day that we hunted this year and we'd never even seen a deer off of it. And yesterday afternoon when we was going in, I went ahead and pulled the card out of the camera. Bullet has been coming in just about every afternoon before dark. The only thing we gotta contend with, there's a lot of does filtering right in there. They're feeding on some red oak acorns. And, uh, you know, we're just gonna have to hope for the best that the does don't wind us before Bullet can come up through there. But so, like I say, we'll keep our fingers crossed. Look at there, white belly, baby, white belly. Well, here it is, September the 11th, and I'm sitting right behind Bullet this evening. I've got a ton of trail cam pictures of this deer. Actually, I was sitting there going through them at the store one day back in my office, and uh, I said, man, I need a name for this deer. And so, only thing we could come up with was Bullet, because this lease is in Bullet County, Kentucky. Couldn't be any happier sitting behind this deer. He's a beautiful animal. His horns come almost all the way together in touch. Got long brows, long G3s. His three's actually longer than the twos. It was just an awesome hunt today and I couldn't be any more tickled with this deer. It's August uh, 16th, I believe. I worked this ground up yesterday and the day before. I've kept it sprayed all summer. We're in our center field. This is my favorite place to hunt in the whole world, the center field. It's just magic, especially when this biologic starts coming up in the fall. Today is October 22nd. Grandpa and I are headed out for our evening hunt. We're kind of looking for 
couple deer that we've had a couple encounters with uh, last weekend came pretty close to on a deer that my sister filmed for almost an hour last weekend. I call him uh, Thumb Reason. Four and a half, five and a half year old eight pointer, about 1.30, so we'll see what happens. I'd like to see you stick him tonight, big guy. Ooh, dead. That one's right there, Zachy. Zach's back here shooting at 50 yards. We need to be in a tree stand. Let's go. <laughs> Where'd you get him? I couldn't tell where you hit him. He's a little bit low, but I got him. That's Thumper, that's the deal we've been messing with all fall. Give me five, you little knucklehead. He's cooked. Oh, look what that rage did. Today is October the 22nd, and I'm here by a, behind a deer that we nicknamed Thumper. Around uh, 5.30, this guy came out behind two does. He came out where the bucks traditionally do out of this field, uh, and that's why we sat this set there. Uh, thank God for the PSE Evo and Rage Broadhead. The Rage did a number on this deer. He, he only went 75 yards at max. I mean, it's either so easy or so hard when it comes to deer hunting, but I also have to thank Grandpa for tagging along with me. Looking forward to next weekend and finally getting to film Grandpa for the last time I filmed him, shot a deer, so hopefully we can keep that going. Grandpa will have practice this week. Yeah. Cast members Kyle Lamore and JJ Coley, sir, are heading to Table Mountain Outfitters in Wyoming for a whole new experience. It's their first hunt for antelope and mule deer. Well, this hunt actually began almost a year ago. We were down in St. Louis at the annual Drury Fall Outdoors meeting. John LaCourt from Nikon was there, and he made an offer to all the guys. He said the team that could produce the best YouTube video promoting Nikon Sport Optics would have a chance to go hunt with Table Mountain Outfitters over in Wyoming for muleys and antelope. Needless to say, we jumped at the opportunity. No precipitation. We must get all of these technologies into one Nikon product. It is alive! It's, it's Nikon Man! Check it out, those chicks are waving at us. Wow, they look pretty hot. Hold on a second there. Maybe you should take a look through my Nikon Pro Staff 7s. Whoa, these are the cleanest movies. Thanks, Nikon Man. You saved us, Nikon Man. Get a better perspective. Get a Nikon. We were stoked, super excited. We've been to Wyoming a couple times whitetail hunting, but never mule deer or antelope. So this was gonna be a first. When you go out west, you better be prepared because it's a whole lot different than the Midwest. It's kind of like learning all over again. Do your research, find out what you need to know, and practice. We ride the bikes, do what we can, hike, to try to get our lungs in condition and our legs in shape. You need to do whatever you can to increase your odds, and the simplest thing you can do is get yourself hooked up with a good guide. I'll tell you, one of the things that's really nice about all the television shows is if you're hunting a species that you haven't hunted before, or you're hunting uh, in a state that you haven't hunted, there's a lot that you can learn about how to prepare and what that hunt's gonna be like. This segment of DOD TV's Natural Barn is brought to you by Scent Crusher. Scent off, game on.
what we are doing, we are making sure that the old rifles are still on. You know, Illinois was a long, long time ago. We're gonna use that Nikon spot on technology, trying to get the gun zeroed at 100, that's where it was when we left. We'll take this, then go back inside, plug it all in, in the computer using that Winchester ammunition, the exact kind of scope, the Buckmaster 6x18 Nikon, but we can put all that in and it will tell me exactly where I'm at, at 200, at 250, at 300, and past that. I know I'm not shooting past that tomorrow, hopefully. Well, the difference between back home and here, is a lot of things. One, we never ever shoot anything past 100 yards. And two, the wind usually isn't blowing 20, 30 mile an hour. So I'm not real sure rifle wise how bad that wind affects it. I know it does, but that's something else we're gonna look at. We're gonna use the spot on technology. Let's go check it out. If the wind doesn't die down, at least we'll get a report on what that wind would do in spot technology. So we'll have an idea of how many inches it'd push it at 100 yards. We're okay with this. We just gotta make sure we're paying attention to the wind, which is not something we have to do as often in Illinois. So. New places, you know, kind of like a fish out of water, you never know what you're gonna run into. The opening morning was here and we were super pumped because we knew our guide was the owner, Scott Denny himself. And if anybody was gonna put us on an animal, it was probably him. I had the antelope tag and where we were going the first day was more likely to find antelope, so I was up to bat. It took less than two hours and we were out of the truck, spotting, stalking, up and down, running and gunning, trying to get on these antelope. We've seen those antelope over there on the fence line. Right. Let's just walk out there and, and you know see if we can you know, spot them again. Okay. Um, just stay single file right behind me. So we'll just get up to the top and then peer down and try to. Yep. We'll just kind of move along, keep glass, and keep your eyes. We'll make sure they don't pop. Sure. Up, you try know, to get an eyeball on them. Exactly. We need to spot them first. <laughs> Amen. They're just right here. You see them? Yeah. Just get set up right here. How far you think? About 200 yards. Okay. Right here. Okay. Hold on, hold on. The second last buck. Second to last. I see him. Alright, I found him. Get on him. He's right in the middle. Yeah. To the left. He's the one buck to the left. Oh, the buck all the way to the left side? Yes. Okay. Ready? Yep, take him. Yep. Shoot him. You gotta shoot when he clears, man. I was a little excited, and our, our first encounter, we had a lot of goats. They were probably 150 yards, but they were coming closer. I'm trying to make sure JJ's on the same one that I am. They're walking, walking. Finally, they're about 100 yards. They bolt and they fly out of there. That's filming. No, you had a shot. You needed to shoot. Well, it's not about an hour later. We managed to get on the same goats. We cut off a little ravine, go through a ditch, pop back up, and there they are again. Same ones we just had the encounter with. Except now this time, instead of only being about 100 yards, they're more like 300 yards. And that is a long way for this Illinois shotgunner. Broadside looking at you, last one. I'm on him. Put it right on his back. You hit him. You yeah. hit him. You hit him. You want to try putting that one on him? No, just wait, wait, wait. He's, He's going, going down. down. Boom. Down, baby. Oh, what a great Down, shot. baby. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Table Mountain Outfitters, day one, baby. We are about three hours into this hunt, and antelope, my tag, has just been punched. My buddy Scott here, he's starting to get a little mad at me because I couldn't get the shot off about five <laughs> minutes ago. <laughs> he's not used to us Midwest whitetail hunters. He's not, he's not. He's like, shoot, shoot, but I wasn't ready and, and, and JJ was getting lined up, but tell you what, he ran out about hundred yards, made it a little more difficult, but made a good shot and uh, cannot wait to go see our first antelope. Sweet. Way to go. Awesome. Put it there, big Thank boy. You, sir. Well, it is October 5th, and believe it or not, we are getting snowed upon. We just left St. Louis yesterday. We were hunting Illinois bow season. It was 85 degrees in shorts, not seeing anything, and headed out west to Table Mountain Outfitters out here in central Wyoming. And I do not miss Illinois at all right now because I, I tell you what, we, we've only been here four hours, and we've seen so many mule deer and antelope, I thought we, we wouldn't see this amount in probably four days. My first antelope ever, but I am stoked. A big thanks to Nikon for sending us out here in John LaCourt, and to Scott and Angie Denny for putting us up. I mean, great people and just great accommodations. We've only been here half a day, but I can tell you what, I absolutely love the place. 
thanks, buddy. Yeah, you bet. You bet. It's Congratulations. Awesome. Thank you. You can see why I was a little excited when we didn't get that shot now, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you didn't tell me it was that good of an antelope at the time either. And no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't, uh, I didn't need you too excited. Right. If you're on an outfitted hunt and you've got the opportunity to kill an animal that you're going to be plenty happy with, you take that opportunity because anything can happen. you got to go in there with the attitude, what am I going to be happy with killing? The old adage is uh, don't pass something up on the first day that you shoot on the last. It's pretty tough to get that second opportunity. Even with an experienced guy, they'll tell you that. Look at the results. Maybe 30% success rate in a really good area. If I can get it done on the first day, I am going to and I am going to jump at the chance. We're about four hours removed from Kyle smoking an antelope at about 300 yards. A beautiful antelope. And now we're changing over to a mule deer, which is my tag. And we're going to get back at it. Get up there quick. Get on him. Get him, him. Get He's gonna go. He's gone. So close. There go. The first couple encounters we had were difficult ones. I was getting used to the bipod. I hadn't shot a rifle at a whole lot back in Illinois, so I'm somewhat of a novice when it comes to rifle hunting. We had five bucks. I would say all of them were shooters. I couldn't quite get on the one that I wanted in the middle, and they bolted. And I mean, when I say bolt, they ran probably a couple miles away. So we had to go find some more. Well, Scotty Boy did his job. A little bit of a learning curve on the old rifle for Double J. Well, within the hour, we found a group of four and two of the four deer were absolutely beautiful with one of them being a giant. It didn't take long. We crested the peak and there they were at about 170 yards. He's the one, the closest one in the group. Group of three. You can't shoot, do not shoot. Okay, get ready. Let the back one clear. Okay, ready? There you go. You hit him, you drilled him. You drilled him, you Did drilled I? him. Go down. He's going down, he'll go down. Go He's go toast. Down. He's toast. Go down. He's down. He got the tail waggle. He's done. He's got the tail waggle, baby. <laughs> A little more stress than I wanted. Why are you doing that to me, Scott? <laughs> Just putting you on bucks, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That you job, have, dude. brother. That yeah, you have. Awesome job. God bless. Oh. How many chances have we had? Right there, bro. Nice yeah. job. <laughs> there he Oh, dude, that's Woo. a dandy. Just some of that, boys. Oh, yeah. Now that's what I'm talking about. That is life at Table Mountain, folks. Just gorgeous, buddy. Thank you. you bet. Thanks for being patient with me, man. He's oh, a gorgeous deer. Oh, he is gorgeous. Oh, he's beautiful. Just beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful buck. Well, here we are, folks. One day at Table Mountain Outfitters. And in one day, I can't tell you how many, not only mule deer bucks we've seen, but antelope. My partner shot an antelope this morning about 9.30, and I just dropped this baby about a half an hour ago. I gotta give a big thanks to Scott and Angie Denny at Table Mountain, and John LaCourt at Nikon, who gave us this opportunity. So thanks to both of them, and thanks for being patient with me, buddy. You bet. Congratulations. It was kind of a tough journey, but it was a blessing in disguise. It was. I don't know if you can fall in love in one day, but I think I just have, and it's with Wyoming, and more specifically, Table Mountain Outfitters, because it's been absolutely awesome. So thank you so much. You bet. You're watching Natural Born on Pursuit, baby. Next week on Winchester and Drury's Natural Born. Time to celebrate. That's what they call an Eastern Iowa double right there. Yeah! I think it's got all the making of a good, good night. I smoked him at 35. Could not be happier. Long season here in Ohio. I'll tell you what, this morning has been so fun sitting here.